our president, Chicago Teachers Union, Karen Lewis. I want to thank everyone who made this a reality. The core members who worked tirelessly for this day, the CTU members who voted for us, and the thousands of teachers, parents, and students who stand up each day to improve and defend public education, and often against some very, very powerful forces. And on behalf of the CPS students, I want to personally thank my fellow teachers and paraprofessional educators for the long hours you work off the clock every day under increasingly challenging circumstances. Thank you. night and day to deliver on the trust that you have placed in us. Today marks the beginning of the end of scapegoating educators oh, yes. for the social ills that all of our children, families, and schools struggle against every day. Today marks the beginning of a fight for true transparency in our educational policy. How to accurately measure learning and teaching and how to truly improve our schools, and how to evaluate the wisdom behind our spending priorities. This election shows the unity of 30,000 educators standing strong to put business in its place, out of our schools. sees K-12 public education as a $380 billion trust that up until the last 10 or 15 years, they haven't had a sizable piece of. So this so-called school reform is not an education plan. It's a business plan, and mayoral control of our schools and our board of education is the linchpin of their operation. Fifteen years ago, this city purposely began starving our lowest income neighborhood schools of greatly needed resources and personnel. Class sizes rose, schools were closed, then standardized tests, which in this town alone is a $60 million business, measured that slow death by starvation. These tests labeled our students, families, and educators failures because standardized tests reveal more about a student's zip code than it does about their academic growth. And that in turn, that perceived school failure fed parent demand for charters, turnarounds, and contract schools. People thought, well, it must be true. I read it in the papers. It's got to be the teacher's fault because they read about it every single week. And our union that has been controlled by the same faction for about 40 years, 37 out of 40, didn't point out this simple reality. What drives school reform is a singular focus on profits. Profit, not teaching, not learning, profit. So in Chicago, <coughs> we've seen CPS close 70 neighborhood schools, open up 70 charters that do know better. 6,000 Chicago Teacher Union members have lost their livelihoods, their jobs, their dignity in the process. Countless children have lost their friends and families, have lost schools that, for the most part, were a source of pride, tradition, and safety. Of course, just as our city's social conditions must improve, many of our schools must improve too. But we have hundreds of thriving schools filled with dedicated, loving, and professional educators and administrators who are wise enough to empower teachers to lead. So outside of the classroom, we need society to recommit to bettering all communities. We also need our parents to recommit 
to the education of their children with us. Mm -hmm. But inside the classroom, the only people who can improve our schools are professional educators. Corporate heads and politicians do not have a clue about teaching and learning. They have never sat one minute on this side of the teacher's desk. But they're the ones calling the shots, and we're supposed to accept it as reform. As a union of 30,000 United Educators, we have a lot of work to do. And we know we cannot do it alone. We need to work together and rethink what education means in Chicago. So I am asking that Mayor Daley and Mr. Ron Huberman line up their allies in Springfield. We'll line up ours to stop it. of crisis budgeting. And once and for all, we need to change how Illinois funds its schools. 60% from property taxes and 30% from the state. We need to reverse that. We need to flip it it's on its head. So all children, no matter the value of their family's home, have equal access to quality education. And while we're in Springfield together, let's make sure that the average CPS teacher's retirement just $39,000 a year, mind you. Let me just say that again. $39,000 a year, and that's without Social Security. Let's make sure their retirement is safe and sound. Yeah. The law says our pension fund needs to be at 90%. It's about 60% now. So we need to follow the law together on this. Now back home here in Chicago, we need to put all the financial details on the table because teachers got pink slips this week. Mm -hmm. And yet Chicagoans have yet to see a clear, transparent, detailed CPS budget. We don't know the details behind this claimed $600 million deficit. That's just what we've been told. So it's time for the board to give citizens all the specifics. How CPS spends our money, on what and to whom. How the $250 million in TIFs that should go to schools, that should go to schools each year are really spent. Chicagoans need to know how charters spend their taxpayer dollars because to date we have not seen one charter school's financials, not one. CORE ran a clean campaign calling for clean government. We call for budget transparency and a clear read on how social ills outside the schools impact our classrooms on the inside. Then we can start to change the conversation. Not what or who to cut, but how to save money and lower, yes, lower class sizes. Right? Not whether yet another one size fits all policy, because I'm here to tell you that just does not work. <laughs> whatever that latest silver bullet will work, but how each school can rebuild itself into a responsive learning environment. And certainly not whether open access to high quality public education for all children. It's a luxury we simply cannot afford according to these people right now. And we're saying we have to have it. True public education. Great schools with great teachers is the most important civil right of our generation. Right? And we will change that conversation because the Chicago Teachers Union is now unified. Our teachers and paraprofessionals are poised to reclaim the power of our 30,000 members and protect what we love, teaching and learning in publicly funded public schools. Mm -hmm. 